Good morning. I'm releasing a tool called TPUP today that lets you extract and override textures in DSR. So I figured I'd make a quick video showing you how to use it. As you can see, everything looks normal right now, so let's shut down the game and get going. To install the tool, all you need to do is extract it somewhere. So I'll just dump it on the desktop for now. Then open her up run the app, and before doing anything else, verify that the game directory is set correctly at the top. It starts with the default Steam location, but if you have it installed somewhere else, make sure you change that. First off, let's go over how to use the tool if you just want to install other people's textures. Next to the app, you'll find an override directory, which is where replacement textures go. I've got some example textures here, so open up the mods override folder and copy the contents into your override folder. Then head back to the app, pick the repack tab, and click repack. Now let's check that out in game. And there you have it, the old dragon texture for the heater shield. So next, let's see how to create your own texture mods. The first step is to switch over to the Unpack tab, click Unpack, and then go grab a book or something because this takes quite a while. Now luckily, I've already done this beforehand, so when it finishes you'll find all of the textures from the game in the dump folder. Now finding the texture you want to edit might be easier said than done, but I happen to know that Claymore is in parts and WPA0266. So once you've found it, open up your override folder and replicate the path from the dump folder. For instance, parts, which I already have from the shield texture, and then I need to create the Claymore folder, WPA0266. And copy over the texture you want to edit. And we'll just make a real quick and dirty black blade texture. Like so. Good enough. Now the game expects uh, weapon textures to be in the DXT1 format, but that's going to be different for different types of textures. So save it, then head back to the app, and like before, now that that's in the override, you just click the repack button to apply it, and then let's take a look in-game. And there you have it. So now you can distribute your textures by just uploading an override folder with the textures you don't want to include removed, of course, and other users can simply merge it with their own. Finally, to undo any changes you've made to the game, just click the Restore button. Anytime you repack the files, it backs up anything that was changed, and that unbacks it up. So, make sure to take a look at the README for some more info, plugins you'll need if you want to edit textures like this that <laughs> don't open normally, and check the description on the video for a link to the Nexus page. Thanks for watching.